So I injected female mosquitoes with Bulbachia. Yeah. And then I make those mosquitoes and then I'm testing the, the progeny of those mosquitoes. And so I test the males via PCR to see if there's any Bulbachia infection has gone from the initial female through the ovaries. So it's maternally transmitted into the, the, the progeny. So I test the males to see if they're infected. And then if they are infected, then I'll go and breed with the females to start a population. I hatched eggs in these trays and then the larvae have grown up and now I've got mosquitoes which I'm just segregating. So I'm taking the males out to test and then putting the females in cages. Uh -huh. Pans with larvae, or actually, so these have just emerged. You can actually see the adult mosquitoes right there. Can you pick those up? Not really. And then we have uh, cages of adults. Okay. We've got uh, a number of walk in chambers that are like this. And this is just maintaining stocks at the moment? Yeah, this is stocks. So we have a, a core insector facility basically, which is very, one of the, the advantages of being at the Malaria Institute at Hopkins uh, is for general, as long as you're working on anopheles, for general colony maintenance, we don't need to do that. They have a core facility that rears them. If you want mosquitoes, you sign up and say, I need X number of cages on this date, and then we can get the cages. Or if you want larvae or whatever, we can get that. Yeah. Um, for the work that we do on Tulex, we have to rear that ourselves, which is fine. For our experimental lines, we also rear those. We don't have the purpose. 